Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to connect a solar panel to our new 150 amp battery that's got the DC to DC built in. We've had a fantastic response uh, to this battery since we released it a week or so ago and um, a lot of questions have come in on how to connect solar to it because it's got a DC to DC built in and yes some of your external DC to DCs for your vehicles have solars built in but in this particular unit cannot do it with this uh, battery. A there's a couple of reasons trying to keep the size of the case as small as possible but the main reason is because of a BMS and the lithium battery cuts out the vo over voltage and under voltage. So anything above 15 volts going into it, um, it will cut out. So if you don't have a regulator going in beforehand and the voltage going in, it's gonna play up with the internal BMS. So quite simply to get around that, all you do is just run your external uh, regulator to the load side of the battery like you would do on any normal battery where you just have a positive and a negative post. You have your alternator going in, you have your solar going in, and then you have all your loads connected to it from your vehicle and your batteries and whatever taking power in. So they're both an in and an output. That's exactly what this post is here. This input is purely for the DC charger. So it sees the input from your alternator from your starter or cranking battery, the DC to DC then um, turns on and will charge the battery internally. But at the same time, you can still have any other external source here going into the battery as well. So today I quite simply have one of our uh, solar blankets and 99% of the panels on the market these days, the portable panels, have a solar regulator built in or they come like ours with an external regulator anyway. So you might as well make use of it and all you've got to do is connect it to the battery. And that is as simple as this. One of these little leads here, which is quite simply uh, an eight mil ring terminal that goes onto your battery with an Anderson plug. And then from your solar panel, you plug into your solar regulator with the red for raw, that's your input side. And then your output side, you just connect into the Anderson plug and here you go, you're now connected to the battery and this is actually telling me that we're putting 20 volts into the battery uh, at 6.1 amps and at 14.1 volts. So there you go, it's quite simple and easy to do. Um, and you can do that with any of our batteries uh, and any of the batteries that have the DC to DC built in as well. So it's a simple and easy thing to do. It's nothing over complicated and it will certainly keep you in service for a long time. It will keep you off grid for as long as you need to, as long as you've got nice, beautiful, sunny days. And, uh, but even when it's not, when, even when it's an overcast day, that can be just as important. And that's where you would normally have a bigger solar panel so that you can try and gain as much solar as you can and get into the battery and keep it in there and we all know the lithium batteries last a lot longer they charge up a lot, lot quicker and everything as well so it'll keep you off grid whether it's overnight two days a week or even longer so that's quite simply how you go about it if you still have any further questions please don't hesitate to call us at Bainbridge Technologies or just click on one of the links that's associated to this post so bye for now and happy camping